All right, so now we understand what amino acids are. We're going to go on and understand how amino acids will bind to one another and form a polypeptide and a growing protein chain, which is called a polypeptide. So um, to start off, we, we can now identify amino acids. So when we look at an amino acid, we can see a carboxyl group. We can see an amino group, and we can see an R group. And this looks like an amino acid, and yes, it is. So how are these two amino acids going to you know, come together and form a larger polypeptide. And now how that happens is is through a process called uh, nucleophilic attack. Um, what basically happens is we have a lone pair on, as we can see, we have a lone pair on the amino group over here. What's going to happen is this lone pair, pair is going to attack the carbon of the carboxyl group. And what that happens is, what, what it really does is the, the carbon now is satisfied. It's going to send on the extra electron into uh, into the double bond over here. And, and when that happens is the double bond is gonna bounce out the electron to the oxygen. And once that happens, uh, it's, it's gonna bounce back since, since you know, um, in, 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 in chemistry, it's it's not basically, you know, the carbon, the electron is not just sitting there, it's gonna be moving around. It's kind of distributed to everything. And when that happens is, uh, it's going to go the other way backwards now what's going to happen is the the electron is going to go back to the double bond and then henceforth it's going to it's going to end up on this on this uh hydrox uh hydroxide right here and when that happens it's, it's going to break off so we have a oh excuse me we have a hydroxide which is negatively charged now and that's going to be floating around and we and it's going to be really happy because as we notice when this electron leaves or this lone pair leaves uh, the amino group what happens is uh it, it's going to be positive now and once it's positive it wants to give off its 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 hydrogen to kind of balance out and, and it's perfect because guess what we have two hydrogens on this and one of these hydrogens is going to go off and it's going to jump into the hydroxide. Now, hopefully that made sense. This is this process is called condensation and, and a water molecule is released then. And then we end up with the final structure of the dipeptide. Excuse me, there is a hydrogen right here. So this is the structure of a dipeptide. The, there, these two amino acids have successfully binded to or bonded to one another through a peptide bond. Now this bond is called a uh, is, is called a peptide bond. Um, another thing to notice is that when amino acids are being sent or, or a polypeptide is being synth synthesized, the, the start is going to be an amino acid and the end is going to be a carboxyl a carboxyl group. So the synthesis is probably going to be happening in what direction? It's going to be happening in this direction right here. So an, another thing to mention is a residue. So we, we can't call an amino acid inside a polypeptide an amino acid, even though that does make sense. It has another term for it. That term is called a residue. Now this right here will be referred to a residue, and this right here will be referred to as a residue as well.